Hello students, welcome back to Mega Mind Mentor. I am Honey. In this video, we are going to do exercise 1B, question number 2 and question number 3 of chapter 1, Rational Numbers. In this video, we are going to learn how we can represent negative rational numbers on the number line. So let us get started. Question number 2 says, represent each of the following numbers on the number line. So the first number that we have here is minus 1 by now since it is a negative number, it will lie on the left hand side of 0 on the number line. So 0 is here. We have all the positive numbers on the right hand side and all the negative numbers on the left hand side of 0. Minus 1 is here now. We will divide this small section between 0 and minus 1 in 3 equal parts as the denominator here is 3. So 1 first part, this is second part and the remaining you have is the third part. We have to represent minus 1 by 3. So minus 1 by 3 is the first partition that we have done. So it is minus 1 by 3 here and I will name this point as point A. Likewise, let us do question number 2. So question number 2 is minus 3 by 4. Again, it is a negative number, so it will lie on the left of 0. So 0 is here, minus 1 is here. Divide this in 4 equal parts. This is first part, second part, third part, and then you have the fourth part. Now, this is third part out of 4 parts, right? So first part, second part, and this is the third part. So third part is minus 3 by 4, and it lies here. And we are going to name it as point B. Let us do question number 3. Minus 1, 2 by 3. It is a negative number. So it will lie on the left side. So I will put 0 here. Then you have minus 1, minus 2. Now the denominator here is 3. We are going to divide each of the sections in 3 equal parts. So this is first part, second part and this is the third part first part, second part and this is the third part. Now since this number is in mixed fraction form, it is actually a number which is before minus 1. So it is on the left hand side of minus 1. So minus 1 is here and we have to locate the second partition out of the three partitions that we have made. So this is first partition and this is the second partition. Now this is the location of the point minus 1, 2 by 3 and we are going to locate it by giving it a name C. Call question number 4 now. Question number 4 is minus 3, 1 by 7. So 0 comes here, then you have minus 1, minus 2, minus 3 and minus 4 here. Now the denominator is 7. It means we have to divide each of these sections in 7 equal parts. So let us quickly divide all of these sections in 7 equal parts. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and this is the 7th part. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. Now this number which we have to locate lies before minus 3. It means on the left hand side of minus 3. On the left hand side of the minus 3, it is a first partition out of the 7 partitions. So we can locate the point. This is the first partition out of all the 7 partitions here. So this is point D and it, it is the location for minus 3, 1 by 7. Let us solve question number 5 now. Minus 4, 3 by 5. So 0 comes here. Minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5. We will divide each of these sections in 5 equal parts as the denominator here is 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 
फोर फाइव वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव वन टू थ्री फोर एंड फाइव नाउ दिस नंबर इज बिफोर माइनस फोर राइट so minus 4 is here and we are going to look towards left side of minus 4 for this fraction which is 3 by 5 so 3 by 5 is the third part out of the five parts so this is first part second part and here we have the third part and this is the location for the point minus 4 3 by 5 and we can name it as e Let us solve the next question, which is minus two five by six. So zero lies here. Minus one, minus two, minus three. Now we will divide each of these sections in six equal parts. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Now we are going to mark minus two five by six on the number line. Minus two is here, and this point lies before it. So we are going to check on the left hand side of minus two, and it is the fifth division out of the six equal divisions that we have made. So one, two, three, four, and this is the fifth division. And let me give it name as F, and it is minus two five by six location. Let us solve question number seventh now. So question number seventh is very easy. Zero comes here, then you have minus one, then you have minus two, and then you finally get minus three. So minus three is here, and I give it a name as capital G. Let us solve the last question. That is question number eight. So zero is here, minus one, then you have minus two, and then minus three. let us divide each of these section in eight equal parts so always remember when you are dividing any section into n number of parts you are going to make n minus 1 lines to make the partition what it means if i have to make eight equal parts i will draw seven lines i'll show you how so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and how many parts have i just made i have made eight parts we can even count that now so this is your first part second part third fourth fifth sixth seventh and eighth so you have eight parts here now the same thing we are going to repeat with the other sections so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 eight parts are made 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 parts are made now we have to look for minus 2 7 by 8 so this number lies before minus 2 it means it is actually the seventh part out of the eight equal parts so seventh part is here right 1 2 3 4 5 6 and this is the seventh part and we are going to name it as h and this point is of minus 2 7 by Eight. So this is how you locate negative rational numbers on the number line. Let us do question number three. In this question, you have to state whether the statements are true or false. Coming to the first one, minus three by five lies to the left of zero on the number line. So if this is a number line and I mark zero here, towards the right you have all the positive numbers and towards its left you have all the negative numbers so on the left of zero you have negative numbers on the right of zero you have all the positive numbers so minus 3 by 5 lies to left of zero on the number line so yes it is a negative number minus 3 by 5 is a negative number and it will lie on the left hand side of the number line so it means this statement is true coming to question number 2 Minus twelve by seven lies to right hand side of zero on the number line. So this statement is actually false because on the right hand side of zero we have all the positive numbers. Question number three: the rational number 
1 by 3 and minus 5 by 2 are on the opposite sides of 0 on the number line. So this statement is true as this is a positive number so it will lie on the right hand side and this is a negative number so it will lie on the left hand side of 0. So both are on the opposite sides of 0 on the number line. Coming to question number 4, the rational number minus 18 upon minus 13 lies to left of 0 on the number line. Now this question is quite tricky. Minus 18 by minus 13, it looks like a negative number but actually it is a positive number. Why so? Because both numerator and denominator have minus sign in it and ultimately both of them gets cancelled and you are left with the numbers. 18 and 13 which are your positive numbers and the positive numbers lie on the right not on the left hand side of the number line. Statement number 4 is false and statement number 3 was true actually. So what have we learned so far? Number 1 all the positive rational numbers lie to the right of 0 on the number line. And all the negative rational numbers lie to the left of 0 on the number line. Hope this video was helpful. In the upcoming videos, we are going to do the next exercises of the same chapter. So stay tuned. Do consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.